Hello again, I am Blunty. Now, if you keep up with your tech news as much as I do, you'll be well aware that between that little infighting between Apple and Adobe lately, it's been going on since pretty much the iPhone came out and it didn't support Flash, and everyone was like, you can't be, you can't have the full whip without Flash, it's stupid, it doesn't have Flash, and Apple were like, you know what, we don't want Flash on it because it drains the battery, it's insecure, it's buggy, blah, 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 and that came to the fore again with the Apple iPad because it of course does not support Flash at all either and there's been a lot of back and forth between Steve Jobs, the Lord Master Emperor of the Apple Universe and the faceless corporation of Adobe uh, and they've been going back and forth at it and Apple are like, no we don't want your Flash stuff on the iPhone because it's insecure and it's buggy and it slows everything down and drains the battery and Adobe come back at Apple and like, well maybe it's your stuff that makes our stuff crash and it's just been like a couple of school kids just going, it's your fault, no, it's your fault, you did it, no, you did it, it's ridiculous. Might be time for Adobe to eat some humble pie on that score because they've just put out a press release today stating that, oh, hey, the last few versions of uh, the Flash Player and uh, Acrobat and Adobe Reader, they're all apparently horrifically insecure and have a vulnerability in them that they haven't fixed yet that basically says if you use any of that stuff, Flash, Adobe Reader, Acrobat, whatever, your system is completely open and vulnerable to being taken over by a third party hacker. Just someone can come in, they've got the keys to come to, they can just take it over completely. And it doesn't matter if you're on Windows or Linux or Apple OS X, it's system wide. If you've got the Adobe crap on your system, you're vulnerable and you're hopeless. Of course, the iPad, completely flash and, and Adobe free you got no problems with it. Oh, but you need Flash to set up the web. You need Flash for YouTube. Well, no, you don't. Look, here's my site. There's an embedded YouTube video. I click play right there, and it starts playing it. No problem. You don't really need Flash. Shut up, me. Shut up, me. So Steve Jobs has got to be feeling pretty smug right about now. Not that Steve Jobs ever doesn't feel smug, I suspect. I think smug is his default emotional level for anything and everything he does in the complete universe. Meanwhile, until Adobe decide to fix this vulnerability that can completely give over my computer to any hacker, <laughs> I'll be uh, making my videos with the iPhone and editing them on the iPad and completely avoiding using my computer at all. I'll do all my email, all my surfing, all my gaming and whatever else I need to do on my iPad because it's just brilliant for that kind of stuff and I love my iPad very, very much. iPad, iPad, iPad. And the last time I did a video about an iPad where I was showing you a hack where you could put a microphone, any USB microphone into it, the comment section went, hey, that's a neat trick. Most of the comment section were people bitching and whining about how they don't like the iPad and how it's a giant iPod touch and how the uh, another uh, net top computer or all these Windows based uh, pad tablets that are supposed to be coming out or the Android based tablets, they're, oh, they're so much better when they do this and this and this and this and they're cheaper and stuff like that. But hey, guess what? Apple are pretty much owning the market anyway. Do you ever think why that is? Maybe not everyone shares your ignorant opinion about what the iPad is good at, what its purpose is, what it's useful for, or anything like that. And, you know, I'm quite happy at this point that it doesn't have a debut flash on it. Because if it did, that could be vulnerable as well. Quite aware that I may be sounding a little bit like a fanboy at this point, but I'm really not. I mean, I love Apple stuff. I love Apple stuff because it works brilliantly. It's wonderfully designed. The, the battery life on this thing is incredibly stunning. I mean, I can go 10 hours or more surfing and clicking around and going nuts with it, and it's just going and going and going and going, and that's the only thing about it that deserves the, the, the hyperbole magical, which really pisses me off. Apple marketing really pissed me off, by the way. The products are great, but their marketing just annoy me from time to time. It's just so smug and magical. No, it's not magical. It's technology. We know it's got transistors in there. There's nothing magical about it, you arsehats. It's just a thing, and it's a good thing. Sell it on it being a good thing. Don't just lie to people and tell them it's magical! But I'm going off on a little side rant here. The core rant is Adobe suck. They still suck, and sure, if Adobe Flash was never around, maybe YouTube wouldn't have been where it was, and maybe I wouldn't have been doing as well as I am on the site because they made video oh, really, really early. But hey, guess what? The thing is, you've got to move away from nostalgia. Technology moves quickly. It's time for Adobe to step aside and the new technology to take their place. More efficient technologies, more secure technologies for a start and everything. I mean, once upon a time, when we needed to get somewhere in the world, we would get on a big friggin' sailing ship, and that was the best way to go to other countries. But now we got, you know, jumbo jets and shit like that, and they are much, much better for that because they're faster, they're more efficient, it's cheaper, it's everything about them is more pleasant than sitting on a ship for three weeks going from India to... I don't know, somewhere else in the world and 
trading spices and things like that. It's it, people get wrapped up in nostalgia with technology, and that leads to a lot of, of brand wars as well. And people get all hooked up in the in the brand they chose and the type of you know Canon versus Nikon cameras or Sony Xbox and the thing and Apple versus Windows and all that sort of stuff. People get all wrapped up and tied up in it, and it's just so stupid. Just use what works. For you, it doesn't matter what other people are buying, it doesn't matter if other people don't think this is the best thing for them, if it's the best thing for you in the way you use it, it doesn't matter, and there's no point in arguing and spitting and ranting at each other and just going nyeh, 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 all the freaking time, all you're doing is wasting oxygen! Just settle down, buy stuff, use stuff, talk about what you like about the stuff, but there's no point in just bitching at each other on the internet in pointless arguments about which piece of technology is slightly better than the other piece of technology because it does this and doesn't do this and it costs this much, it doesn't cost this much, it's just shush! Just get on with your lives, it doesn't really matter that much. So this has been kind of a mega rant, I've gone through three big rants in this little thing and I'm gonna go now. Catch you next time.